Dan here at Sugar Tree Run. Today we're going to talk about some indicators that your season is coming to a close. Typically there's three different things that are going to be occurring that are going to wrap up maple syrup season. Number one is the weather changes. When you get to a point where the weather is no longer going through deep freezes and thaws overnight and into the day, a lot of the sap flow will cease. Number two is bacteria growth inside your spile hole. This occurs just over time due to uh, the length of time that the tap has been exposed to air and other uh, environmental factors, as well as the weather. When it starts to warm up, bacteria continues to grow and can significantly slow or even stop slap flow from the tap hole. And number three is when the trees begin to bud. We're gonna look at some examples of buds on both red maples and sugar maples. So you can see some of the indicators that you want to wrap up your season before you start to produce what's known as buddy syrup, which is an off flavor. When the trees begin to bud, you'll notice a bit of a puffy looking nature to the tips of their branches. Those are those buds which are beginning to grow and expand and starting to break open. This is a great indicator that your season has come fully to a close. These here are examples of buds on a red maple species. You can see that there are three lobes at the top and the reddish color of them. Now the one on the far left is still pretty tight, whereas the ones on the right you can see are beginning to open up and break as we've moved into spring. Now we're going to kind of pinch these and I'll show you how loose some of them may be. And these are strong indicators that it is uh, time to wrap up your season before you start to get that off flavor. Okay, you can see how this is starting to open up and the leaves are going to start to sprout from here. And once this starts, there's going to be chemical changes in the sap producing that off flavor. Okay, this here is an example of a sugar maple or a hard maple bud. It's much more narrow, does not have the two lobes on the side of it compared to the red maple, and you'll see that it's a different color shade. Uh, it does not have the red hue out close to the bud. Now this bud is still pretty tight. The tree does not show any signs of budding or breaking bud. However, just given the length of time we've had that tree tapped, extending beyond six weeks at this point, it's significantly slowed in its sap flow, plus our weather conditions have gotten to the point where we're not getting consistent freezing and thawing, and we're ready to pull the spile and call it a season. Okay, now if you're using buckets like this, I tend to wanna take something with me that'll help me carry all the lids when I pull these down and, and remove the spiles. So I've just got a five gallon uh, bucket here where I can take the lids and kind of uh, stack them on top of each other in there along, along the outside, pull the bucket down, stack those up together, carry that back to a place where I can get everything cleaned up. Now to remove the spile, we're just gonna gently pull on it with our hand Remember, we didn't drive these into the tree hard with a hammer. We just made sure they were fully seated to avoid damage. So they should come out with just a little bit of work. If they don't, you can always use you know, a claw hammer gently to start to loosen it a little bit. But we're just going to you know, begin, and there you have it. It's out, okay? So you can see a little bit of uh, blackening on the spile. That's a little bit of bacteria here from late in the season. Try to get a look inside that hole. Looks pretty good. Now, a healthy tree, this hole will close up in about a year or two, sometimes a little bit longer, depending again upon you know, the growth pattern of the tree and everything. But um, again, this isn't harmful to the tree at all. It's gonna naturally close this all up. And next year when we tap, we just wanna make sure you know, we're rotating and changing the, the elevation slightly on the tree to avoid over tapping or cluster tapping in, this, in a common area. This here is an example of a tap hole that is closed in basically one year. This is where we tapped last year. And you can see it's, it's uh, healed up very nicely. Okay, today we've covered some basics 
to know when your season is coming to a close and how to remove your spiles from the tree and gather up your equipment in preparation for cleaning. Thanks again for watching Sugar Tree Run. Please be sure to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. And also check out the balance of our videos related to maple syrup and equipment cleaning as you wrap up your season. Thanks again.